Alright, so before we get into the gear, enhancements, feats, etc. This build kind of just assumes you have a decent amount of reaper points to get enough hit points to survive a hit or two. It also just kind of assumes you have an int tome and a constitution tome. They're not needed, but I'd recommend at least having a plus five int tome from favor, if nothing else. I'd also recommend making sure to get your three cleric lives and a wizard life, as well as three arcane alacrity. You will struggle to land transmutation spells without having three alchemist past lives, and I'd also recommend getting deep gnome past lives because your color spray is your only real tool against reapers besides just running away from them. Alright, so for my gear, I'm still using the esoteric set. I have attunement gaze slotted with death block and a sapphire dodge. My armor is slotted with greater conjuration. My bracers are slotted with ultimatum for mark of death. I'm using the elemental bound set or chained elements. I have it slotted with Festive Int and Insightful Int on my Acid Rain. So for my gloves, I use the Gloryborn gloves for 2 DCs, 142 Devotion, and Quality Resistance plus 2. For my boots, I have Slave Lords Crafted, Quality Int plus 3, Spell Sight, Resistance, and Wizardry, and in Augment, I have a Sapphire False Life. My belt is 35% crit damage to cold. I used a jeweled cloak just for spell absorption. My trinket is the gem of many facets. I have healing amplification on it and insightful glaciation. The ice lore is redundant. I already have it. You can change this to constitution and slot something else. I just do not want to recraft my trinket. My artifact is the Zarian's Ward. I have slotted the Greater Transmutation, Globe of Imperial Blood, and a Master's Gift. If you want to move this around, you can in order to get another slot for Crow Cut. My hat is the Elder's Cap with Festive Constitution and Sightful Constitution. And my weapon is slotted with the Meridian Fragment. For my offhand, I use Ash and I use Affirmation. Ash is a stacking debuff that reduces the enemy's magic resistance rating by 7, stats up to 3 times for a total of 21. Affirmation is a proc that gives you a thousand temporary hit points. It lasts one minute and cannot be refreshed until the minute is up, in which case you can refresh it again. So for filigrees on my weapon, I'm running Auto's PRR, Intelligence, and Spell Power. I'm running Beholder Spell Power, Intelligence, and Raid Eye of the Beholder, plus two Intelligence, Zargon's Intelligence, Zargon's Raid Intelligence for plus two, Frozen Wanderer Raid, for plus 10 PRR, you can switch this for plus 1 intelligence if you had an odd number. And Frozen Wanderer Cold Spell Power. For my artifact, I'm running Otto's Intelligence, Eye of the Beholder Raid plus 2, and Zargon's Raid plus 2. So from Filigrees, I'm getting 5 DCs, 5% crit damage to cold, and 12 intelligence, so 11 DCs total. Okay, so for enhancements, I have 90 to spend, so if you don't have as many as I do, you can just take points out of falconry, but I have 18 spent in dragonborn, basically just take the breath attack, and anything to get true power, and Tree Call and Knowledge. The rest is kind of just there. In Bombardier, we spend 41 points just to get the Capstone and Elemental Weakness for Cold. Uh, everything else is just Crit Damage or Int or Efficient Maximize. Do you take Magical Subtlety because, well, it's free threat reduction. We spend 13 points in Fade Art to get Color Spray, You've Got My Back, and an Extra Int. Six points in Mistani for deflect arrows. Every six seconds you deflect one missile. We have 12 points in falconry because I don't have any more to spend. If you do, I'd recommend spend the rest of our remaining points in falconry. Or if you want to, you could spend it in Vistani to get more defense. 
Alright, so for Epic Destinies, we have 60 out of the 64 total Destiny points to spend. If you have all 64, I'd recommend points into Shirati Magic for more transmutation DCs. I've spent 12 points in Shirati, just I took everything to get Double Rainbow and Faceite. For Draconic, you kind of just take Draconic Presence, Arcane Studies, Lessons, Dragon Breath, take Conjuration Focus, Scales of the Dragon. This is nice for when you do get hit by cold damage, so something like Polar Rage just doesn't kill you if you run out of spell absorption charges. We take Daunting Roar because it's a 25% chance, so it'll usually hit a few enemies every time we use Dragon Breath. We take Improve Maximize it with all the other things we have for Meta Magics. It basically makes our Maximize cost almost nothing. Take Gaping Wall because it just doubles the damage of our Dragon Breath, and we take Pull from Rail Spring. This is 300 spell points for the duration of the buff. It's very nice in raids, very nice when you're almost out of spell points. Ruin intensified. So Ruin and Greater Ruin, this basically just adds a lot of damage depending on your element. You can largely ignore the force damage, but you're mostly just taking this because it's anywhere from like 10 to 50k depending on what difficulty you're running. I think on Helpless I can hit from anywhere to 10 to 14k with Greater Ruin just in ice damage. It's pretty good even on R10. We kind of just take Spread Your Wings and Exalted Angel. We kind of just spend enough points to get the leap. It's a extra leap every 3 seconds and it recharges a charge every 15 seconds. We also get no fail on a 1 for will saves and 10% spell points. 